what's up? Zach King here with Final Cut King Answers Week 5. I'm going to be going over a lot of questions here for Final Cut, as well as some Mac and how to do explosions and all kinds of cool stuff. So stay tuned for Week 5. This video is brought to you by EditorsKeys.com. Check out their website. Some of their customers actually include BBC, Universal, and MTV. They sell everything from like recording equipment to keyboard covers. They've got it all, so check it out. Okay, so this week the biggest question I got was how do I import DVD footage into Final Cut Pro? Well, I use MPEG Stream Clip as well as Handbrake. These are two free programs that you can go download. I've got the links on my website and the resource page, FinalCutKing.com. You can also use the program Cinematize and DVD XDV. And those are all great programs to get your DVDs into Final Cut Pro with any format that you want. How did I do the fire explosion in the replay video? Well, if you haven't seen the video, click here and you'll know what I'm talking about. And also, how did I change shirts? I'll actually explain the shirts effect in another video. And the fire explosions, though, what I did is I went to a website called Detonation Films. Basically, they've got a lot of free stuff there, as well as stuff you can buy. And it's pre-keyed elements like explosions. So I think I grabbed probably this explosion here, downloaded that, and then... In the Final Cut timeline, I keyed out the explosion and then put it over my footage and sized it where I wanted. And then you've got an explosion. You can also adjust the light later in motion and make it uh, look like the explosion light is coming out of my face. Uh, that's a whole nother tutorial. But you get the gist of it. So I'll be doing a tutorial more intense, more in depth on that kind of effect in late September. Victor wanted to add me as a friend on Facebook. Well, Victor, I've added you today. Only for you, Victor. Okay, for transitions, if you did get a message about insufficient content for edit, basically what that means is if I've got this end clip here, let me give you an intro clip, you saw what I just grabbed, there's no end data here and there's no beginning data, basically what that's called is handle, so if you get that message it means that your clips do not have enough media at the beginning or the end of the transition, and so if I try to drag a cross dissolve right here, there, it's not going to work because there's not enough space or handles. So if I go to my roll feature, you can see that it was at the end of a clip and I need to drag it over to give it more room. Sound effects. Where do I get my sound effects? And I'm going to tell you a couple more next week and a couple places you can get free music. But I get my sound effects at freesounds.org. Check out their website. Um, you just sign up. It's free. And then you can download. Like They have a huge library of sound effects and they're good quality too for Mac and PC. Lots of different formats. Uh, the command click. How can you use this in Final Cut Pro? Well, the command clip in Final Cut is actually a selection tool. So if I, if I hold down command, I can select multiple things. Unlike shift, which if I select the beginning clip and an end point, it'll select everything in between. Command lets me select without having to do that. Cool things that you can do with command on Mac. I know I have a really messy desktop, but I can actually clean up my folders a little bit. So you know if it's out of, let's say all these folders are out of whack and out of place and they look really bad. Well, I can right click and clean up. Or if you hold command while you're adjusting, they'll slide right into the nearest spot to be cleaned up as you move them. So that's pretty cool. That's the command key. Also up here in the toolbar, you can go ahead and actually adjust these little icons in their positions and even drag them off and delete them holding down the command key. Write me on Facebook, I, that's where I answer most of my questions from and also during the week I'll answer right on Facebook. So check out my Facebook page. Also check out the Facebook page of EditorsKeys.com because they brought you this video today. Check out their website for a lot of cool products that I know you editors are going to love. I'm Zach King with FinalCutKing.com and I'll see you next week with the Final Cut King Q&A.